I've actually been debating a little bit about making my first four-star legendary unit on the Chinese servers. Um, I've been thinking about it. I mean, for HFX, if anything, like, if I ever really want to start getting, like, strong competitive, kind of, in a way, like, I would focus on him first at the end of the day because he actually fights pretty well. So let's go Versal Knight. I think that's a Naju. Also, Versal Knight's pretty good, too. I mean, if he, if he was going to be my pseudo-legend max, I'd probably do him, too. But um, I want to focus on FX for now since his shards are a lot harder to get. And if I can four-star, I can be happy with that while working on his pilot. But then, who would my next legendary be for, like, the comp section? Um, it's a good question because I think it might be, like... Transient Glacier, very another very strong unit with beam dodging projectiles and spinning tops and bay blading. So I've been thinking about it. You know, I can still bring you guys like Kanta of the New Year's that drop. I just won't be able to play him in rank. But I can actually get you guys more on the competitive side of the force when it comes to like these uh, players. Wow, the clash was real. Slice, ow. So me and this Zanaju pretty much were like half and half. And then Zabanya killed me that a-hole. But yeah, if I, Kyo going to 6k HP would be um, a dream, really. And it's like my units are getting to that point where I can actually compete almost into Diamond. Um, but like I said, it's all up in the air. But I do would actually like Age FX at 4-star at some point that way i can focus on transient the four and four star and then maybe when shin kamiki comes he be my next four star and then i got all my good units that i did want to get the four star etc but um the pilot pilot wise you gotta get my pilot to five star obviously i can five star the pilot and i can be happy with that it'd be like a four or five scenario with the units for damage output really so this zaku wants it let's go char zaku just ate it Dreadnought, I see you. Leave my buddy alone. Nice. That's a good testament. He has his last talent, which is great. Stabby stab. Let's do it. So yeah, Age of Effects is a great survival unit, but all of his tech is like solid stuff. When it goes from his glance to his barrier. And I mean, the more stars he has and the more HP, the longer his uh, barrier can last in a match. Because then you're taking on more attacks to the face. Ouchies. Thank you for shooting him. Mock Knife. See, that Mock Knife has a lot of HP, but, you know, it's pretty beatable if you have, like, your, the right kit. Bam. Activate. Burst. Nope. Block. Let's get it. Kia. My barrier's up. You can't get out of this. Bam. So, yeah, that was some good damage. He got down to 2,200 HP. So AFX really put in the work there. I'm dead. Anyways. <laughs> Transient Glacier. Let's finish up shop. And the reason why for Transient Glacier, obviously, for freeze purposes, but Beyblade purposes, and his Lance Bit auto attack is very solid stuff. EMP Wave. Wave. Yeah, that did not stun me. Sorry. If you thought you were going to stun me, that's a no. So yeah, I just thought I'd talk about that a little bit. I think I might be working more for a competitive team soon for Supreme Battle. Thanks for watching.